Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's attempt to take on the King of Skulls. Once more the King howls for your flesh. I won this pentacle longer ago than you can imagine. In those many years, I have only now begun to understand its secrets. The King of Skulls is the last of the undead to have slipped from my grasp. You are the first to come close to him. Again, a token is at stake. And once again, I am not going to get that token because I need 50 gold and I have zero. Us. We can only hope. That's a new one. One day, while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. Oh, so he is. Okay, that's that's better than the picture I had in my mind of me being hanged by my neck. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. <laughs> okay. I have accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. One blessing and one curse. Hmm. And don't I have a curse that actually reduces my max health with every curse that I get or something like that? So that's not good. That, that's not good. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Okay. That's... Eh. It's pretty bad, to be honest. Because ideally, you're not getting hit at all. Another curse on the table. Oh, Jesus. Let's see how you deal with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal very well. Look at that rotting potato, or whatever that is. You see, twice as much food. Okay, that's bad. Not to mention, I believe I'm about to have my max health reduced, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to die. Please be the maiden or something. I need food. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital dispute. While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of her homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his pals, drinking away all our coin. They left the spoils from their latest job here. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. Oh my god. <laughs> what a loving wife. Wants me to go to the tavern and confront her husband. Basically, she wants me to beat beat him up. Alright, uh, let's go beat him off. Now, here's someone with some sense. I would go crack his skull myself, but our dragon cow is birthing litter and might burn the whole place down. <laughs> what the hell is a dragon cow? <laughs> Apparently, breeze fire. So I guess the name is appropriate. I wonder if the fire shoots out from the udders of the dragon cow. Maybe the calves just drink flame? And you have to wear very, very well insulated gloves when you're milking it. Anyway, you find the woman's husband. We meet the jack again. Did you think him done before? Oh, no. Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top. As are we all. Why, hello, Jack of Dust. I swear to Jack off, I'll cock your clock off. You corner the woman's husband at the local tavern. He is busy playing a drinking game with his friends. 
<laughs> join him for drinks or threaten him. Hmm. I don't think the wife would be very happy if I joined in with this game. No. Let's threaten him. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Either huge success or failure. Alright. All or nothing. A choice. Select your desire. Uh... Okay, either this one or this one is the failure. Or I shouldn't say the failure, there's three of them. Either this one or this one is a failure. So to increase my odds, I guess I should choose one of these. Well, okay. I hear worse threats from my wife every day of the week, he scoffs. I guess if I got a huge success, that would mean that he didn't want to fight me and he'd go back to his wife or something. Yeah, blocking like a pro. Didn't block that, because I can't. I think he's angry. Also gotta remember, I cannot hit people when they're down because of my curse. Well, I, I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. No, no, don't hit him. I think I hit him when he was down. I, that's not good. Alright, just you and me. I thought I dodged that. Turn to the woman, bringing her battered husband with you. Just drop him in the corner and take what you want from this rubbish, she says, handing you a sack. Excellent. Ooh, that is very, very good. Get to choose from three different equipments. Alright, well, all of these are new. Arrow cutter. So that's gotta be some sort of an arrow defense thing. Doesn't sound very good to be honest. Um, I have no idea what Warcry does, but it probably. Uh, it's probably like a temporary buff or something, increases my damage or end or defense for a certain amount of time, I'm guessing. Or, well, it, hmm, Warcry. It could also be that it maybe like summons friends to help me or something. But I think I'm gonna go with Thunderstruck because that sounds awesome. Because these things will help me. Occasionally, but a weapon will help me all the time, at least during combat. An ancient artifact, honored in song and story. Equipment with this trait tra uh, crackles with the thunder of the gods. Even mages tremble at the sight, fearing a power beyond their... Ken? I don't know what that means. 35 damage, that is incredible. Every strike inflicts lightning damage, press left bumper for lightning to strike around you. That is incredibly good. Really? Is that what you're going to do? You're telling me you wouldn't equip the weapon that's way better than the current weapon that you have equipped? You're crazy. 
Oh, shit. That means the stairs were the other way, and I'm consuming two food with every move that I make. Oh, that is not good. I'm gonna use up uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna use up ten food just getting there to the stairs. Dude. Lionel, dude. Please give me food. Ah, he's gonna give me equipment, though, isn't he? Or gold. One equipment. Yep, that's not gonna help me with food. Oh! That is actually an incredibly good, um, uh, artifact. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Ouch. If only you had a meal. Previously, I had underestimated you. Then, I resented you for destroying my minions. Now, however, I cannot lose. Either way, a great annoyance is dealt with. Eight of Plague. That's a lot of plague. Thankfully, though, I have a pretty amazing weapon. Uh, where's my shield? Why the- why does my shield keep fucking disappearing? And yes, somebody please tell me, what the fuck happened to my shield? Yeah, I, I swear it just randomly disappears. One food gain card. Oh, thank God. Please be ten food. Please be ten food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Well, it's a meager offering. Very meager, but I'll take it. So is my shield just gone? Okay, my great, my shield's gone. Why? Why? I don't understand. When did I lose it? I used it during combat and then it's just gone. Our hero needs sustenance badly. Might be able to sell my old axe and maybe buy one food? Hmm. I wonder, if you only have one food and it consumes two food to move somewhere, so you have half the amount of food that's required to make the move, does that mean it only does half the amount of damage to you? Or does it use up the one food and then do full damage to you? Well, I can't even, can't even afford that. Hey, look on the bright side. At least there was no barking dog. Okay. I have to hope to God I find either the maiden or something like that, or the stairs. Or whatever the exit is. And if it isn't the exit, I'm gonna have to backtrack. You, Siri. The root of all troubles. I actually could use a loan. A loan of food. How do you loan food? I guess you don't loan food. In a busy in a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. Oh, do you want a loan from me? If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will repay you one day. With interest. I can't, I'm sorry. The shopkeeper sighs, saying, And I fear it will be the arena for me, when I cannot pay my debts. I'm sorry. I would feed you if I could. I cannot break the rules in your favor any more than in my own.
What brings you to play the game? Okay. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. My next move has to either be food or a heal or something like that. If it's not, I'm dead. Wait, what? A sad way to end. I had such challenges prepared for you. Such is life. More power for you. I'm confused. Why did that do more than 10 damage? Huh? Oh well. At least I got something. Let us see what fate lies ahead now. Has the challenge become too much for you to face? Let's go ahead and put in that new encounter. Throw out the angry woman. Alright, let's hope to not get starvation this time because that is incredibly bad for me. It's pretty much a death sentence, especially that early on. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Yeah, so the Holy Forge, just in case you don't remember, that's the car that I encountered before where you can't actually do anything. Or at least I couldn't before, and this time I couldn't as well. So it seems you need a special item or something like that to be able to actually progress in that storyline. Um, is there any reason to stick around? Call for the priest, pointless, I have no gold. Devil's Carnival. Nah, I'm just gonna forge on ahead. This is new. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirits sense the presence of a cursed soul. They are not pleased to have been disturbed. Ghostly talons claw agonizingly at your flesh until you finally reach the other side of the graveyard. Two pain cards. Oh, thanks. Ugh. Nasty. Ugh. That was unpleasant. Pointless. More ill fortune. More injury added to insult. Just please don't give me starvation again. The player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Holy crap, that sounds amazing. That sounds really, really good. Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Oh my god. That is really bad when fighting against bosses. Because typically with bosses, I kill all the adds and then go for the boss, which means the boss is going to be the last one alive, which means the boss will not be able to be stunned or interrupted. Ugh. Well, it's better than starvation. Alright, let's go. Oh man, I've lost so much max health, look at that. This one appears to not have traps, which is nice. Must be very, very careful. Very careful, go! Ooh. 
Okay, that wasn't terrible. I don't know what either of these do. Let's go for the Helm of Reflection. A coarse defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. Oh, I guess I can just look at what the other one does before I actually take it, so let's see. Upon reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. Hmm. Sounds okay. This alchemist could have turned his mind to the creation of gold or wonderful substances to better mankind, but instead settled for crafting vile poisons. Disgraceful. And this sounds pretty incredible. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. So I'm assuming when I use that it lasts for the entire encounter. I'm probably not going to encounter more than seven encounters in one dungeon, so I suppose I might as well use that for pretty much every single one. Yeah, this sounds better. I'm gonna go with that. Do you trust the cards will work in your favor? Bold. <laughs> I don't. But it's better than nothing. And screw the crown of hindsight. Might as well sell my crown. Please don't have a dark barking dog. Please don't have a barking dog. Ah, it doesn't. All right, I just want to say for the record, I have a shield. Just, just putting that out there. I have a shield. Just keep that in mind, okay? I have a shield, so if it suddenly disappears, remember, I had a shield at some point. There are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. But at what price? The Lich is an undead able to hurl deadly balls of magical fire. She can also consume other enemies in order to restore her health. Liches are known in legend as the greatest of the undead. Only the most powerful, or most foolhardy, of wizards attempt to summon one. And only the most unlucky actually succeed. Alright, so gotta keep in mind, I'm not gonna be able to stun the last enemy. Don't hit enemies when they're down. And use my artifact right away to make my weapon do more damage. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. You have discovered the Lich, a powerful undead monster. Let's attack. Couple two of skulls, those are pretty damn easy. Alright, let's use my thing. Okay. Don't hit him when he's down! Don't do it! Oh yes, I do more damage to stunned enemies, although I can't stun her now because she's the last enemy. Right? Let me let me test it. Well, she teleported. Come back here!
Okay, uh, I shouldn't be close to her. I'm taking a lot of damage. Ah, damn it. Okay, if I can hit one more time, I'm dead. Ooh. Oh my god, she's exploded. Two game guards. Please have one of them be health. More health to work with. Much good meat do you. Take it. Where, adventurer? Darkness is loosed upon the lands. Uh, I think I'm gonna move back and forth a couple times to gain some health. And let's go get some food, too. Should be able to afford two food, I think, or, or four? No, I, th I think three. Yeah, there we go. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. This is a good quest to get. Let's go ahead and do it. Take your feelings and turn them into power. Okay, I guess I'll put on the Viking Blade because it is better than my axe. And my axe tends to not disappear, so I should be okay. However, I'm gonna get a shield too, right? Of course. And this time... I'm not going to equip the shield, because when I do that, apparently my old shield just, like, turns into dust and blows off in the wind. Or whatever. And I know I'm gonna have to give the shield back if I don't want to be an asshole. So, yeah, I'm not gonna put it on. No. Are you sure that's the right approach? Alright, so where's the, where's the place? Please show me where I need to go. Okay. Just two over here to the left, cool. Let me just confirm I still have my shield. Okay. Just, just want to confirm, I still have my shield. Also, look at that mask, it looks like a badass. Fate's Folly. Pity the losers, or scorn them. Uh, I, I can't afford to give him food, I'm sorry. There has never been a hero whose end has not been thus. Let's return the sword. And return the shield. One blessing. Very nice indeed. 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. That sounds... really bad. That's it? Really? Okay, so let me just check. Let me make sure I still have my axe and I still have my shield. Okay, good. I swear it doesn't actually hurt me when I hit them when they're down, so maybe that, that whole prone thing didn't mean that. I'm not sure.
Also, I keep forgetting the whole stun thing. Don't I have a blessing that makes it so stunning is better? Yeah, triple damage against foes who are stunned. And... Using my shield bash is the same as stunning, right? I don't actually know. I think... Maybe not. Because I, I think there's shields that actually specifically say you can stun opponents. And this one doesn't say that. I'm not sure. I cannot afford to auction my blood. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. I don't. The very embodiment of the earth. For some people, that is home and hearth. For you, it is a terrifying beast. Veterans of the old wars spin tales of large, powerful creatures built of rock and flame. Not all of their attacks can be countered by mere mortals. These monsters were exiled by the king to live deep beneath the ground in the caves they originated from. It took years of warfare to enforce the exile, but they haven't been seen on the surface for a generation. Alright, so it sounds like we're going to be fighting golems. Or something to that effect. That sounds very difficult. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. In a cave system, dark and deep, you stumble upon some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you as the old man cringes in terror. I can't just leave this old man to be killed by fire golems. Let's help him. The creatures begin to lumber towards you threateningly. Alright, I've never faced these before, so I have no idea what to expect. Okay, they're huge. And they're angry. And they're lovacious. I uh, probably can't um, reflect their attack, I'm guessing. Also, it's only one enemy, which means I can't even stun it because of my curse. I think one attack and then run away is a pretty good strategy. Let's not get greedy. Seems to be working. Strats. This is so exciting. I'm like trying to kill this dude with a needle. That was close. Oh, there we go. Please give me food. Thank you, stranger, the old man says. I've traveled these tunnels for years, but I haven't seen lava golems this close to the surface since I was a boy. Thank God. Oh, that is beautiful. Now that you've slain this lot, I hope the rest of their kind learn to stay underground where the king exiled them. You and the old man head out of the tunnels together.
Do you understand what you have unleashed now? At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. You come across a narrow valley. Several dead adventurers lie under piles of stones before you. Don't bother trying to reach the treasure hidden in the valley, stranger, says an old man. Those fools tried and look what happened to them. Hmm. If I had more health or food, I might attempt to cross the valley floor. But I'm going to be very cautious, so let's just find another way around. A wise choice, the old man says. Surprise! I did warn you, I think, about the consequences of magical forces unleashed. Without warning, a magical portal opens beneath you and you fall through it. As you tumble between realities, you catch a glimpse of the entrance to an ancient vault. You recognize a distinctive mountain peak in the distance and think you know where it might be. After an unknown period of time, you fall ungracefully back into your original universe. Now you have reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? You find yourself lost and alone in a desert. Pray to the old gods for salvation or wander aimlessly. Well, wandering seems dumb. So let's pray. Oh my god! I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, your prayers go unanswered and you are shot by an arrow. <laughs> Looking up, you see bandits approaching. One health pain guard and two monster guards. Wonderful. Oh. Perhaps this time you oh. invest your intellectual support. Oh. Occasionally, brawn may defeat brains. This is bad. Okay, the Eight of Plague, that's not horrible, but Eight of Plague plus some fucking mages? I'm probably dead. Well, if I still have my shield, if it hasn't mysteriously disappeared, lost in the desert somewhere, I stand a fighting chance. Okay, I still have my shield. Let's do this. I need to dodge like a pro. Or counter like a pro, rather. Actually, I should go for the mages first. I think I have to stun him first. There we go. Shit. Shit. Oh. Oh, even the rats are hurt by the mages' things. Cool. One down. Ow. Two down. Okay, we're gonna live. We're fine. We're fine. Also, I think my buff disappeared for consuming shame, so I think it is actually time limited. It's not for the entire encounter.
Yeah, that actually went surprisingly well. Not bad. One gain card. Thank God, something good happened. Please be food. That's not food. Please be a shop. That's not a shop. There's a token in it for you if you win. Yeah, I'm starving now. Gotta go. It has been many ages since the King of Skulls has seen combat. He is hungry. Another curse. You're not having much luck right now, are you? No, I'm not. There goes another 10 to my max health, so I'm going to be down to a max of 50. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. <laughs> Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. Unfortunately, I'm starving. I have no food. The deeper you go, the harder things become. Eh, whatever, that doesn't really matter. I have one or two more moves until I die. Alright, we're saved for a little bit. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. And there's the dog. There's the mother fucking dog. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Man, I'm just limping my way along here. Not again. The gods look upon you favorably. You'll be fully healed the next time you're half dead. Well, at this point, being half dead is going to be like two hit points because my max health is going to be nothing. The black deck delivers again. Extra damage from ranged attacks. Good to see you, Lionel. Finally a friendly face. One food gain card, thank god. Please be ten, please be ten. Eh, I'll take it. Whew. One must now end. Okay, it's make it or break it time. I have 40 hit points and more curses than I can even remember. And I still I still have the default weapon. Oh god. Oh, this is not good. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep using my my buff, my damage buff. The King of Skulls, the mighty Lord of the Undead. The Skeleton King's defenses are practically impenetrable, and he will use both sword and shield to fell you. The most fearsome undead warrior ever seen. He carries on one arm a shield that would crush most men, and with the other wields a two-handed sword with a deadly ease. But that's impossible! You can't wield a two-handed sword with one hand. Defenses are practically impenetrable. Great. So it sounds like, uh, just judging by what I've read here, it sounds like my strategy for defeating him is... Take don't... your time if you like. I've waited long enough. It seems like my strategy is don't bother, he's invincible, so you're just going to die. Great, let's go. Win this and claim my token. I'm so dead. Thankfully though, the skeletons are very weak, so... Should be able to make quick work of them. Oh my god! He's got a flashy thing on the end of his shield, which means I think it does like extra damage or something. Alright, let's buff.
Oh shit, it summoned skeletons. Wait, where, where the fuck is my shield? Are you fucking kidding me? Where did my shield go? Where? Somebody tell me, where did my fucking shield go? You dick. I don't even know who's a dick. Somebody's a dick. Somebody stole my shield. Did, like, Mr. Lionel take it or something? When I was just skipping through the dialogue or something? I, I don't even know. I'm so fucked. Oh, Jesus. Almost got him. Alright, here we go. Okay, we actually stand a chance. So those dudes just like put down an explosive and alright, let's just leave him. Alright, now's my chance. This is not going so bad. face didn't take a single point of damage I admit you've been well used here the king of skulls has avoided my grasp until now you have sent him to my realm it is time for a long delayed reckoning I am really amazed I actually managed to get past that I was half starving full just chock full of curses 40% hit uh, 40 hit points no shield I had the default weapon and I did it without taking a single point of damage. Damn. Alright. Let's see what's happened. New starting gear. Uh, deadly combatant, you advance to powerful blows more quickly. At the start of your adventure, you will be blessed. Nice. Skeletons will now reanimate. Redman warriors will perform leap attacks. Ugh. Skeletons have more health. Take the pentacle, then. It will only benefit you so far, and no further. Assassin's Greed. Ah, yeah, so I pissed off the golems by attacking that one lava golem. And now I have the hunting parties just like I had for the rats. That means I really want to get rid of the rats, so I really do want to pay to get rid of the rats so I can actually get them out of my deck, because now I'm going to have two hunting parties.
for discovering new places while falling through a portal. You receive royal treasury. Nice, so that's what I got a glimpse of. You have come further than I ever expected. Now let us see how you fare against the Queen. Let's see. Cursed luck. The difficulty of picking a successful chance card has increased. Oh great, it was already pretty hard. The great dragon queens of the lizard people are the fiercest warlords and generals. Alright, let's add in the new stuff. That's, that shield is sexy. Okay, I need to toss out some old stuff. So, Fate's Folly. Um, Helm of Reflection, I didn't really like that. Let's toss that. Fate's Folly, I feel pretty comfortable getting rid of that. I do want the Skeleton King's Helm. Whoops. Should probably toss out a weapon. I think I have too many. Um, hmm. Which one? I kind of like them all. Oh wait, let's get rid of Mortal Whimsy. That's the weird one that changes every time. Like, with every encounter you get a different weapon or something. Yeah, that's weird. Throw in another ring. I think I'm kind of imbalanced. Yeah, I have a lot of artifacts. So arrow cutter, I don't know what it actually does. Uh, does it say? Press right bumper to summon a magical shield that stops arrows and other ranged attacks. That doesn't sound good. I mean, it doesn't specify how long it lasts for, so maybe it is good. But, no, I'm going to toss that. And let's throw in Assassin's Greed. Alright, that seems good. So one more new encounter, what can I toss? Surprise portal. Now, are there any that I could put back in that would give me, like, easy food? Because I really want more food. I could throw in a shop, but I don't feel like I have any problems finding shops. Nah, I guess it's fine. Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to take on the Queen of Scales.